Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to properly add, change, and test new email recipient address. This is useful when you want to change the email address for the recipient or if you need to add additional addresses to the recipients. So let me show you how this is accomplished right now. All right, this is our job form dashboard. To get started, let's go ahead and create a, a quick form. So it's going to create a form or we'll start from scratch, classic form. And let's drag in a few elements for this. So let's drag in the full name, phone number, and the email address. So just for demo purposes, we have those elements now. Now to change the email recipient, we're gonna go into settings, emails, and we have two types of emails, notification, that's for notifying the owners of that form. And the autoresponder is to notify whoever fills out the form. So in this case, let's go into notifications and go into the little pencil here. Now, if you need to edit what the email looks like for the email, the, the logo, the variables, if you want to change that colors and all of that, you can do it here. To change the recipient, we're gonna go into the recipients tab. Now, by default, we, are, we already have the sender name. We can update that if we like on our avatar over here in the settings, the reply to email and the recipient emails. Now, this one is grabbed by default from the email address that we have on our account. If we need to change it, we can just go ahead and remove it and add one more. So in this case, we'll add another one. There we go. We've added one and we have up to 10 spots to add emails. So in this case, we have nine left in case you want to add additional email addresses to receive that response. So in that case, if someone fills out the form, anyone that you have right here on the emails is going to receive a notification. So if I add a second one, here we go. These two emails are going to receive that response. Now, if we want to go ahead and test this email, we can go ahead by clicking on test email. That way we have a way of testing if the email is correct and what the email actually looks like. And as I mentioned before, if you want to change how the email looks like, we go into email. So we can go ahead and test it and be aware that the test email is going to go to the email that you have for your account, not the recipient email that you added here. So in this case, if the email is different from your account, you're not going to receive the test email there. You're going to receive it from the account email. So in this case, let's go into our email address and check out that email. Here we go. This is our test email right now. And we received it at the email from the account that's registered. And this is what the email is going to look like. Now, don't worry. These variables that we're looking here are going to be pulled from the actual form. This is just for demo purposes. Okay. And also this on the bottom. So that was the test for that. Now, if you're good to go, we can go ahead and save it. There we go. And it's been saved for this particular form. Now, each one of these forms that you've built, you'd have to do the same steps in case you want to change the email address or add additional ones. Now, for the autoresponder, it works a bit different because it's going to receive from the email from the person who filled it out. If you go into the pencil again, how the email is going to look, you get that sample there and we can edit it and we can also test it. And for recipients, by default, it's going to pull it from the email variable from the form. So in this case, there's no changes done there. So just a notification, that's where we're going to add, change, or test our email for recipient address. Well, we thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.